Hi everybody, Hi. welcome to the program. Got a really good one for you to kick the week off with. Starting with living proof that you can take the girl out of EastEnders, but you can't take the East End out of the girl. Cats later, out of Albert Square, but back near Bow Bells is music hall legend Mary Lloyd. Jessie Wallace, live next. Now, Jessie Wallace is known to millions, of course, as colourful Cat Slater on EastEnders. But since she left the soap, she's starred in a critically praised BBC drama as Mary Lloyd, the 19th century music hall star. She, no, Mary Lloyd was a strong and outrageous woman who scandalised society with a string of love affairs which were depicted avidly in the tabloid newspapers of the day. Sounds just the right part for Jessie, doesn't it? They like Dalek. And they like you for being you. Once they think you're someone different, you've lost them. But I am different. I always have been. Yeah, but they mustn't think that. Once they think you're Lady Mark living with a bit of flash, you're done for. You need to show them that underneath all the diamonds and furs, you're still one of them. Is everybody happy? Yeah. Well, Jessie's here now, uh, looking very different, with, with lovely Thank long you. hair and, Thank yeah, you. really nice. Thank you. How long have you had it like that for? Um, it's been a while now. I've gone blonder and blonder. I am sort of like went the easy way. Yeah, and you're wearing a lot less of the old smack. Oh, I've got lots on. Have you? So do natural look. <laughs> <laughs> but not the, red, not the red slash of cat. No. That's all gone. No, you look no. great. You look really Thank good. Thank you. <laughs> the, um, the, the, the Mary Lloyd, uh, which is now out on uh, DVD, DVD, DVD yeah. and nearly said VT there, shows how it's fresh now, um, is, uh, was, was very critically acclaimed. You, yeah. had, did you know much about her before you agreed to play the role? I knew a bit about her. I knew her music. I knew, you know, who she was. But and then when I found out that we was doing it, I'd, you know, done my research and found out that, you know, she was in the press a lot. And I didn't even know that was around then. Yeah. And she was a really colourful character. She yeah. was massive, wasn't she? I mean, you know, she really wasn't massive. just one of a number of names. She was one of the biggest names in British entertainment. Yeah, she was she? the, the biggest music hall performer. And when she died in 1922, there was like over 100,000 people at her funeral. God. When, so you, when them, you portrayed yeah. her, you'd obviously had to do a lot of research as to what the real woman was like behind this, this, this public persona. She was really shrewd, wasn't she? She really she knew shrewd, the price yeah. of fish and, and, how to, and how to work her public. Yeah, she did. And she was very generous as well. She looked after her fans. Mm. And everyone loved her. Men and women, you she know, she she could flirt with the men yeah. and you know wink at the girls and say, you know, look at this, and it was. Yeah, yeah she, was, she was. I mean, she, she was known for being incredible uh, by the standards of the day, unbelievably crude and rude. I yeah, mean, all that full time. of double entendres and rude sexual gestures and stuff. Yeah. And didn't she get hauled before what was called the vigilance, vigilance committee? committee? Yeah. And, what, and she played it so cool there. What did she do? Yeah, she um, she originally it's not featured in the film, but she originally sung her songs, but very sweet. Whereas on stage, she'd do it all tongue in cheek yeah. and. Uh, they said to her, what's this song, um, You Sit Amongst the Cabbages and Peas? And she said, well, what do you want me to change it to? Um, I'll change it to, She Sits Amongst the Cabbages and Leeks. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it was a lot of stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah and and uh, did she sing Come Into the Garden Maud as well? Yeah, which was that's not featured in, in the no. film. And also, um, she's never had her ticket punched before. <laughs> And people used to, I mean, you know, Christian and Temperance but whatnot used to go in and heckle from, from the galleries and try and close the act down, didn't they? Yeah, they did. Yeah. What was yeah. it that in the, in the end, we saw, we saw that performance there, um, when she said, you're having a better time than the king. Yeah. What was it? What happened there with the... Well, she, she stepped on a few people's feet when she supported the strike of the time. The and, theatre um, strike. The, the theatre yeah. strike, yeah. yeah. And um, there was a Royal Command performance and she wasn't on the list. So mm. to, you know, to sort of put her foot down and let everyone know how big she was, she had her own show. And packed uh, them in. She did. But also, she was, she was probably quite disapproved of by the establishment as well. She was, yeah. She, and she, what was it? she had a very colourful love life. Didn't very she? colourful, yeah. Um, she had a baby when she was 17. She was married to a guy called uh, Percy Courtney. In such a long time. Yeah. And um, he was quite violent towards her and unfaithful. Um, they split up, then she married another musical performer, Alec Hurley. Mm -hmm. um, she got bored of him and then left him for a guy 17 years younger than him. <laughs> She's always lying on a, on a wedding certificate about her age. Yeah, she? she did. Yeah, yeah knocking eight years old. Yeah. She, and she, she died she... tragically. I mean, she, there was one song she used to do, um, a bit of a room that Cromwell knocked about a bit, yeah. where she acted drunk. 
Yeah. Um, and her last performance of that, she was actually incredibly ill and she was she staggering was really around, Ill. really ill. Really and the Ill. public thought she was giving her brother a performance. Until they saw her land on the floor and didn't get up and then they realised that she was ill and she died two days later. And wasn't, wasn't, wasn't her then husband beating her up or something? Um, he was, yeah. They he was going out, spending all her money, thieving yeah. off her yeah. and, um, yeah, knocking, oh. her, knocking her about a bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, let's, let's get, get back to EastEnders. How long is it since you uh, left? Two years. Is it two years now? Yeah. How, how is it? Out in the, is, it uh, is it the cold or is it a, a, a lovely, balmy, warm environment? Um, well, it's been okay. It's been yeah. all right. I was, I was too scared to leave because, you know, playing such a, a strong character and being in the soap for six years, it was a, a you know, a, a very a scary decision to make. Yeah. Um, but everything's okay. So. I know it is. You've been working I'm really glad, hard. I'm glad, yeah. And well, you, 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 haven't you got something coming up with Lee Evans? Yeah, um, we've just filmed a thing called... Um, People Like Us by Tony Grounds, who's written it and directed it. Yeah. And I, my character's married to Lee Evans, and it's with yeah. Alison Steadman, Rupert Graves, Alan Armstrong, and Elizabeth Barrington. You're, you're doing all right then. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, okay, well done. <laughs> well, look, let's, we, we, we've, we've stitched three kind of key scenes together, basically. Okay. Um, okay, this is first of all the amazing scene when, when you confess to Zoe. Uh, who is now the bionic woman in America, know, by the way. She's doing really great. well. Uh, that you're, you're her real mum. Archetypal scene for you. Uh, then the ups and downs of your on-off, on-off wedding with Alfie. I mean, first of all, he confesses he's at his wedding, he's having an affair with your sister. And then Billy says that, at another do, that he's having an affair with his <laughs> girlfriend. But then like, finally, can't we just watch it? And, and then, <laughs> what do you know, put it in context. And then finally, it snows and you get together. I know. Okay, let's have a look. Get away from me! No, you don't rule my life. You're not going to Spain. And that's that. Why not? Because I said so, all right? And I have to do everything you say, do I? No! You can't tell me what to do! You ain't my mother! Yes, I am! First, I have to ask if anyone knows of any lawful impediment, then they should let it be known now. So the happy couple, right? Alfie, little mum. Is it forever? It's forever and ever, I swear. <laughs> yes, please. <gasps> Let's go, Mrs. Moon. <laughs> Oh, yeah. It's so funny because people say, Cat Slade. I say, actually, it's Cat Moon. Cat Moon. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Oh, Look, funny name. While that clip was showing, we've wheeled on our EastEnders um, map. Now, we've done this with many of your, your fellow stars on, on okay. EastEnders. And basically, as you know, we have a little, you've seen it, haven't you? We've got a little pop gun. And if you shoot at any, any of the scenes there, which right. is, the, that's the whole set of EastEnders, wherever the, the pellet lands, you've got to tell us a story. Because oh, you were there no. for a long time about whether... Yeah, got away. Just an anecdote. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have to do that, but it was nice. I was told right. I had to. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Oh, oh right. great. That, that's exactly what I do. That's the way it do, yeah, I? Right again. No, just no, you have squeeze to do... it a lot harder. A lot okay. harder, all right? Okay, go. Ah, right, you've gone straight into... The ladies. The, no, the foxes. Oh, What's I thought that? I had no idea. What's the foxes? I've got no idea. Shall I show you again? again. <laughs> How sad is that? No one knows who the foxes are. What is the foxes? I don't know. It's next to Number one Number 91. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, look, give it here. <laughs> Tell us a story about no, no, the carpet. No, 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 no. Yay! Okay. Right, Mitchell's you've, Auto. Mitchell's Auto. That was right outside. Right. Tell you a story about that one. Um... That was the one, that was the place where Kat tried to commit suicide. Was it? Put all the lipstick round my face. That's right, mm. yeah. And it's a funny story. Um, I overheard yeah, these really two... Yeah, really funny, yeah, no, suicide. No, yeah. no, listen. I overheard these, <laughs> these two little girls talking about it and they said, oh, Kat died last night. And the other one went, no, she didn't die. She went, yeah, she did. She went, she never, because her lipstick saved her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Go on, do another one. Do another one. We've got at least two stories out here for the strength of this. Now hold it nice and steady. Ready? Go. Oh, oh God. <laughs> you're as bad as me. Maybe I don't know anybody as like bad as me right. before. Yes, community uh, the community centre. centre. There's got to be something uh, about that. Uh, let me think. That was the place where everyone used to go to keep warm when we was filming on the set when it was freezing really? cold. Really? Yeah, that's where we all huddle in, in the community centre. So it's like your kind of green room. Yeah, really. it was, yeah. 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 All right, right, well, that's fine. You, you passed okay? pass the EastEnders uh, test. You're a rotten shot, though. Hello. This is <laughs> out... Uh, the DVD of Mary Lloyd is out now, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good Thank a you. really good performance in it. Yeah. It's a really good watch. Thank you very you much. You sing very well too. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Nice to see you. Right.